Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we'll be talking about massive news of a White House representative being associated with Hedera and we'll also be discussing how IBM is providing insights for Hedera to improve their overall network. So firstly, I'd like to bring to your attention a clip featuring the co-founder of Hedera, Mance Harmon and Lehman Baird, where both individuals appeared on the h Bar Ball YouTube channel. So during their appearance on the show, Mance Harmon provided details in regards to how the Hedera Governing Council members will impact the overarching Hedera network and what this could mean for h Bar token holders. I would expect that a majority uh, of the council members, at least a majority of the council members, will have solutions deployed on the platform. So I think that the the whole council aspect of the project, including those enterprise use cases, will have gone to market and be at maturity, and and, and you know, and we'll we'll see a a financially sustainable platform executing, you know, in perpetuity and, and focused entirely on growth at that stage. So as mentioned by Harmon, the Hedera Governing Council members will eventually play a key role in a number of developments on Hedera and also such members of the Hedera Governing Council will also partake in improvements to the overarching Hedera network. So recently, two Hedera Governing Council members actually came forward and provided details surrounding Hedera's improvement proposals. Where the two Hedera Governing Council members involved in this development includes both IBM and Boeing, where representatives of both organizations came forward and raised a HIP to recognize and advise for enhancements to the overarching Hedera network. So this tweet here goes into further detail in regards to what the individual noted to. And if we think back to the previous clip, it indicates how the governing council members are playing a key role in a number of developments and initiatives surrounding developments across the wider Hedera network. And this could be quite exciting, especially as we don't really hear too much from the Hedera Governing Council members in regards to the overarching Hedera network. But with both IBM and Boeing both raising points in regards to providing insights to improve the overarching Hedera network, this is very exciting. And hopefully with time, with both of these organizations and future Hedera Governing Council members coming forward and providing further insights, so I really like this tweet here by Phil Fizz where he stated IBM and Boeing may not be loud but they can shake the market at some point. Anon Cred's anonymous credentials HIP is just another notch on the belt towards large scale adoption regarding identity verification without needing to reveal personal data, the trust layer of the internet. So as stated in this tweet and with the uh, mentioned Hedera improvement proposal, which was anonymous, um, it indicates how the internet, as provided potentially by Hedera, will make anonymity more apparent. And this can generally be seen as good news, especially if one wishes to protect their identity and information being stolen by either malicious entities or being recorded by larger organizations. So extremely exciting for Hedera and time will tell in regards to how the other Hedera Governing Council members actively partake and provide insights in regards to how Hedera could improve. So as well as the mentioned developments, another exciting development associated with Hedera includes the former White House open source expert spearheading Hedera's new shift. So Andrew Aitken, who is set to become the chief open source officer at Hedera, was once the open source expert at the White House. So with such an esteemed individual uh, becoming directly involved in the Hedera project, this only spells good news. And with Aitken also having links to the White House and having expertise in open source developments and protocols, this could make Hedera's network a lot more adhering to future laws that regulators may put into effect. And this could put Hedera ahead of the vast majority of other networks on the marketplace, especially when regulation becomes a reality in the near future. So extremely exciting and bullish for Hedera. So Aitken's main responsibility in this new role will be the overseeing and increasing transparency and rebuilding trust in the digital realm 
particularly with the emergence and adoption of Web3 technologies. So with Aiken potentially overseeing Web3 developments across the Hedera network, this could see Web3 becoming more widespread and developments involving the new protocol becoming more popular across the wider Hedera network. And this could potentially lead to more developers transitioning away from competitor DLTs to Hedera or new developers actively building their offerings on Hedera rather than other DLTs. So Aitken mentioned the main reason as to why he has chosen to join Hedera is due to the number of esteemed organisations Hedera has direct affiliations with, most notably Hedera's Governing Council members, where Hedera's Governing Council members is comp composed of some of the largest organisations in the world, most notably Google, Boeing, IBM, as mentioned, and Shinhan Bank. So with such esteemed organisations, it makes no surprise that high-level and highly esteemed individuals such as Aikins have chosen to align themselves and work with Hedera in such a senior position. So Aiken actually worked at one of Hedera's governing council members in Wipro so he may have some degree of knowledge in regards to Hedera as a whole but extremely exciting all round for Hedera and I think it's extremely exciting that Aiken has a direct affiliation with the White House where he worked with the White House and this could be quite beneficial for Hedera especially when regulation becomes a reality and Hedera could overcome and circumvent potential regulatory frameworks which are rolled out by the SEC. So finally I'd like to talk about a number of exciting developments surrounding smart contracts on Hedera. So as we can see on this, this chart, Hedera is the second smart contract gainer over the last 30 days. And this is again another bullish indication surrounding Hedera and another aspect of Hedera which is growing. Where as we've mentioned on this channel on a consistent basis, Hedera is already highly aligned with cross-border payment infrastructure as well as tokenization utilities but we haven't really seen too much development surrounding smart contracts on Hedera but with this diagram indicating how Hedera is making strong headwinds within this realm of the DLT sphere it's extremely exciting and it makes no surprise really that we're seeing this degree of growth especially if we look at the innate qualities and benefits associated with Hedera smart contract service where Hedera smart contract service is very unique compared to other DLTs, where Hedera's network offers low fixed rates to validate and enable smart contract validation, and the network is near carbon negative. So it makes no surprise that developers are choosing to build their offerings, especially surrounding smart contracts on Hedera rather than competitor DLT networks. So smart contracts could be an exciting aspect to look at, to keep an eye on and all round bullish for Hedera. And this is all compounded as well with Hedera being the greenest DLT network on the marketplace, where Hedera's network is significantly more carbon negative and green compared to all other payment processes, be it DLT or traditional. So another reason as to why Hedera could become more integrated into the financial system and more developers may migrate and choose to build their offerings on Hedera rather than competitors. So if all of these developments become a reality and more developers choose to transition or actively build their platform on Hedera. This is only good news for HBAR token holders as overall increases to the utility and the overall adoption of Hedera services will see increases to the demand for HBAR where HBAR will be at the centre of providing liquidity and acting as a means of verifying transactions which occur on the overarching Hedera network. So increases in the demand for HBAR in this sense may lead to increases to the price of HBAR especially over the long run and as the Hedera network's adoption becomes more mainstream and more used Users, businesses and even organisations and nations choose to implement and utilise Hedera's overarching marketplace and network. What are your thoughts on Hedera? Are you bullish on Hedera's association with the White House representative? Let us know your views in the comments below. Thank you for watching Crypto Clan. Don't forget to like, subscribe and click on the notification bell. Let us know your views in the comments below. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video.